we are continuing with fundamental unit and derived unit what are these fundamental unit and derived unit look at this the, this is the definition of fundamental unit and derived unit units which are independent of any other unit but other units can be derived from them are known as fundamental units this is the basic matter it means they are independent but other can be made from them for example the units of length mass and time that is we have to remember units of length, mass, and time, meter, kilogram, second, hour, gram, etc. These are fundamental units. It's very simple. But on the other hand, what is derived unit? Units which are made by using fundamental units or which can be expressed in terms of fundamental units are called derived units. The units which can be expressed in terms of fundamental units only is called derived unit. For example, the units of velocity, we know that the unit of velocity is meter per second. In the same way, unit of acceleration is meter per second is squared. Unit of force, that is Newton, these are derived units because these are made by using fundamental units. This is a very simple matter. The de definition we can write by by our memory also it's very simple but sometimes we have to go through some other type of question just for example how can you say that meter is fundamental unit how can we say that meter is a fundamental unit Question may be like this also. Then how can we answer? The unit meter is independent. It is independent unit. It can neither be changed nor be related to any other unit. Since an independent unit that cannot be derived from other units and cannot be changed or related to other units is called fundamental units. Therefore, it is a fundamental unit. This way we can answer why meter is fundamental unit. In the same way, uh, you can be asked like this also. How can we say that volume is a derived unit? A unit of volume is derived unit. Unit of volume is derived unit. Now, how can we answer this? How can we answer this? SI unit of volume is meter cube, cubic meter. All of we know this. SI unit of volume is meter cube, cubic meter, which utilizes fundamental unit of meter thrice. Three times the fundamental unit meter is utilized here. Isn't it? Very simple. Thrice. Since a unit that is made by using fundamental unit is called derived unit, therefore the unit of volume is a derived unit. Now next is why the unit of pressure is called derived unit question may be like this also why the unit of uh, pressure is derived unit first you have to know that unit of pressure is pascal and pascal is expanded form is newton per meter square how do we know this because pressure equal to force by area and pressure is if measured in Pascal, force is measured in Newton and area is measured in meter square according to SI system. That's why what can we say? Unit of pressure is Pascal. We have to answer this way. That is Newton per square meter. And we can write like this. It is if it is expanded. If it is expanded. We started from this. If it is expanded, then what can we write? Pascal is equal to in place of Newton, kg meter per second square. Kg meter per second square is Newton and divided by meter square. Now we can cancel this is this square and this. I mean to say out of two, one is cancelled, and this way we can write 
kg and this second is in denominator denominator that's why second to the power minus 2 and meter when goes up then it becomes inverse meter this way we can argue like this thus the fundamental units kilogram seconds and meter makes the unit pascal since a unit expressed in terms of fundamental unit is called derived unit so the unit of pressure is or derived unit we can answer like this in the same way question may be like this why the unit of density is called derived unit do you know unit of density is kg meter kg per meter cube this is the unit of density si unit how do we get this density equal to mass by volume and mass is measured in kilogram and volume is measured in meter cube according to si system that's why density of a uh, unit of density is a kg per meter cube a unit expressed in terms of fundamental unit is called derived unit since the unit of density that is kg per meter cube is expressed in terms of fundamental unit of mass that is kilogram and the fundamental unit of length that is meter therefore it is a derived unit this way we can answer this question now let's go to another part Funda what fundamental units are involved in pascal and joule question may be like this also what fundamental unit is involved in pascal and joule now you can write this way pascal is expanded form is newton per meter square because just now i told you this also newton per meter square and if we write more expanded form then kg meter per second square and it is divided by meter square and that's why meter square one of the meter is cancelled this is cancelled this is equal to kg second when goes off second to the power minus 2 and meter to the power minus 1 this way what can we say what fundamental units are involved the fundamental unit of mass that is kilogram and fundamental unit of time that is second and fundamental unit of length that is meter is used in making pascal and these are the uh, fundamental units which involves in pascal in the same way what fundamental units are involved in joule 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 is equal to i mean to say joule is newton meter why because all of we know that joule is the unit of work work is equal to force into distance and if force is measured in newton distance is measured in meter then joule is equal to newton into meter newton is expanded form is kg meter per second square into meter is there and this way kg meter and meter meter square and second when goes up by minus two this way we can write in sentence the fundamental unit of mass that is kilogram and fundamental unit of uh, length that is meter and fundamental unit of time that is second is involved in making what the unit joule this way we can find out the fundamental units which are involved in particular derived unit these are derived unit pascal joule newton etc but what fundamental units are involved in these units can be uh, can be uh, written like this if we write the expanded form of each of them okay this much for today